little girl this morning. Good morning, guys. has a sore throat mucus runny nose i had a fever last week but we broke my fever i already filmed two sick vlogs for my tiktok already and they're already up if you want to check those out it's the first vlog of 2024 ain't that crazy starting off 2024 with sickness but then again there is something going around because i've been seeing a lot of people on tiktok sick a lot of my friends are sick people back at my hometown in jersey are sick it's not just me it's okay it's a little major step back for the beginning of the new year but it's all right that's not not gonna be defining the whole rest of the year but it's a good wake-up call that this is a sign for us to be healthy and for us to be cautious when we go out this is just the price of going out on new year's day but yeah all i have is a sore throat and mucus clogging up my sinus congestion uh i like i said i did have a fever so i had cold sweats i had fl heat flashes hot flashes heat flashes i don't know what it's called but heat, like i was high and super super hot when i thought i was freezing and i was burning up and i was just crying by the pain but we broke my fever by putting like super cold towels on my forehead and neck because i was having like the worst migraines too speaking of migraines we have been sleep we've been literal vampires somebody commented this on one of my videos but we've been literal vampires because we've been sleeping throughout the day to avoid the sunlight and staying up throughout all night so like having like all nighters since wednesday so that we don't wake up when it's bright outside to avoid migraines but lately i haven't been having migraines and i miss waking up early so last night i we woke up around like 7 p.m had dinner watched the show played games and then i had my tylenol and then i had my Moltrin between six to four hours apart because that's what the pharmacist told me and my doctor told me when i went to go to get tested for covid and strep they told me for the pain just to take tylenol and ibuprofen in between hours if it's that painful and it's i'm gonna tell you it's been painful but yeah that's kind of what i've been doing for the pain for my sore throat i'm about to take my uh 
Tylenol. I had ibuprofen last night. And I'm gargling salt water to help with the sore throat. I've had a sore throat since Thursday and been sick since Wednesday. And my doctor told me that if it continues after Thursday, that I need to go back to see that if it's a serious illness, which I feel like I don't think it is, but this illness has not gone away or gone any better. So we're finna see about that. But yeah, my throat is hurting me so bad this morning. I wanna wait a couple more hours. I don't like to wait exactly at four hours until I take my next pair of pills. I like to like keep it a little longer just because I know that it's really bad for you to take painkillers, especially that much, especially mixing ibuprofen and Tylenol. But bro, did I need it? It was unbearable to swallow like anything or even to talk. So I'm gonna finish gargling my salt water. I'm gonna go make myself some hot tea, black tea if anything, because I just got a new package. Oh no, packet. I bought a new packet on New Year's um, for my local coffee shop. This like, I'll show you guys later. It's loose tea and my New Year's resolution is to start having loose tea more often. So let's finish gargling. This was my nightstand for the past couple days. I'm gonna show you guys. This is a life saver. I, I don't know what I would do without this. I probably would douse down more painkillers if I didn't have this. This is a cool, it's like icy hot, but it's a gel, but it's 10 times better, bro. Like I need this constantly whenever I have a migraine. This, I don't know if it helped with my fever, but bro, did I take it and it tasted like minty honey? I guess it worked. I'd say it worked, especially since it's Vicks. And if you're Hispanic, you know Vicks works with everything. But yeah, I think this did work probably. I can't tell for sure. I don't know if it was this or if it was the cold rags, but that's what I had. I have my Tylenol, which I'm gonna take. I have my essential oils for my diffuser over here. Got my vapor rub, of course. This is an essential, especially when you're sick. This and Sancocho. Then I have my immunity throat spray, which I'm also gonna spray in the kitchen along with my water. So this was the tea I was talking about. I got this tea on New Year's Day when we went to go get some Cuban sandwiches when we were all hung over at my house. since we woke up early. Well, I'm up early, Matt's still sleeping because he doesn't feel well still, but it's been a hot minute since I had an actual breakfast. So this is the first time after a week having a proper breakfast with some eggs, turkey bacon, and my little smiley fries, dude. Guys, I used to have this when I went to Great Wolf Lodge as a kid, and I remember thinking that Great Wolf Lodge like invented these, and I cried when I ate them because I thought they were so good. But yeah, I'd love these more than hash browns in the morning. So here's my little breakfast. I'm also gonna take my zinc. I know I think you're supposed to take it on an empty stomach, but I shit you not like I get so nauseous when I have zinc and my symbiotics But I'm gonna have it after I eat just cuz I feel like that's a little safer for me to enjoy my breakfast It's important to eat while you're sick I know you probably feel nauseous or you probably don't feel like eating But it's very important to get fuel in your system, especially when you're sick. So make sure you guys eat This is a bee immune throat spray. It's not bad. Woo. I warmed up my tea because I barely drank it while I ate my breakfast. Mm. 
Having black tea, mixing black tea with lemon juice is low-key fire. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna make Matt some oatmeal because he's sleeping and I'm gonna make it for him when he wakes up because I just know he will light up when he sees that I made him breakfast already. And I love my man, so. And he's been taking care of me all week, so he literally deserves everything in the whole world. But for now, we'll give him some oatmeal. Cinnamon in his oatmeal. He always mentions how he could taste it and how he loves to taste it. I mean, can you blame him? Cinnamon and oatmeal. What's up? Dad already fed you. Doesn't matter. You get fed twice a day with a little bit of snacks. You guys are on a good diet. That's why you guys are so healthy and not depressed and hydrated. You might be a little cranky, but it's okay. I know, I know, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and when he wakes up, it'll be ready for him to microwave. Loki, just wanna put some oat milk in my tea. Cause I, ooh, cause I saw one girl do it and I don't know why I didn't think of it. I know people in the UK obviously like have tea almost 20 times a day and they add milk in it. I just didn't ever see a reason to put milk in tea. Just cause I kinda like tea being regular water, but maybe just a tad bit of milk will really change my mind. I think I did this once, but I completely forgot. It's like blank in my mind. I don't think that's enough. It just looks like coffee, so no wonder they make tea. Okay, didn't make a huge difference. Obviously, if I put more milk, it will make a bigger difference, but still tastes good. Didn't ruin it. It literally looks like coffee. It's so bland in here, guys. And don't judge me. I haven't been able to put away any of the Christmas decor lately. I have to find the boxes in the spare room, and my dad has to pick it up because I have literally no storage for our stuff. And I've been sick after New Year's Day, so I had, I've had no time to clean up. These are the cat's toys. No, I don't have children, but I do have babies. And yes, their toys do be getting all over the floor. I don't know if I've shown you guys that I switched up the apartment a little bit. You can see that the bar cart is now here and not on the side of the island, but we still don't have any stools. I have my eye on these stools on Amazon. I'll put a picture up on the screen, but I'm about to get those. I'm just waiting because I want to see if I find anything better. But yeah, the house isn't actually that much of a mess. It's not messy. It's not dirty, actually. It might be messy. It might be, you know, stuff around, some tissues here and there, uh, slippers on the floor and whatnot, things not really Really organized but it's not dirty um, right after New Year's if you guys have seen the TikTok, I did do a little reset took down all the New Year's decor decor why did I say it like that took down all the New Year's decor vacuumed everywhere disinfect and disinfect all the handles especially since we got sick we were like we need to disinfect all these handles like the door handles and light switches because we had like 10 15 people in my house for New Year's Eve and then we have like probably eight to seven people sleep over so we vacuumed the whole floor mopped really well everything disinfected and wiped and then the day after that's when we got sick after we got hot pots so the house is not dirty we've been keeping it clean rotating our trash and keeping the counters clean our clothes clean rotating the wash and all that we even disinfected our bathroom sinks so yeah the house is not messy at all i'm glad we've been keeping up with it even while sick because that's very important when it comes to sickness obviously having your environment clean however the Christmas decor has not gone down yet, which I don't know if I'm gonna do that to th for today's vlog or if I'm gonna film a different TikTok for it. Maybe I'll film a TikTok for it today. I don't know, but it's just gonna be so overwhelming me taking down the decor because I have to go into the storage. But yeah, that's the simple update on the apartment. Been loving this TV. If you guys already know, I've been having this TV on 24 seven, which is such a bad habit of me, but it's for some things. It's for have a show in the background because usually I have it on my phone. Oh, wait, why am I going on Netflix? Never mind. I love going on YouTube and and putting on like a fire pit or like calm music and all that like that's just my thing in my last tiktok matt and i put on like a sick and lazy pilates workout and we low-key underestimated it we thought it was going to be a little slow but it was low-key burning our glutes and it worked it really worked it got some of our muscles active again after us not working out or doing any type of movement since wednesday speaking of which i really 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 want to go on a walk today outside finally we have not seen the outdoors for almost a week now but it's so gloomy outside i don't know if you guys can tell but it's so white outside it's so gloomy no sun so we're not gonna get any vitamin d but that was the whole point of me wanting to go on the walk but if it's for but if i'm gonna go on the walk just for fresh air then i might as well just chill on my balcony but yeah the tv has been so good when it comes to music background noise fire pit shows workouts at home this is really soothing my throat the tylenol has not kicked in yet 
Ooh, guys, honestly, I'm I'm just gonna say it. Y'all should try a tea just like this. I obviously black tea, squeezed some lime, and, and on the top is actually an orange, not a lemon. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say I squeezed lime? No, I squeezed lemon and black tea with a topped off orange, and I feel like I'm starting to taste the orange peel. It tastes really good with some agave and honey, and as you can see, some oat milk. This is really damn good. Oh man, Moon's crying because I had him in the room because the food was out. Coming, Papa. We can come out now. I'm sorry, don't curse at me, bro. I honestly don't know. I have no plans for the rest of the day. Again, Matt's sleeping because I woke up at 7 p.m., accidentally fell asleep at like 10 p.m., and then w I found myself waking up at 5 a.m. So I was like, oh my God, I slept for the whole day. Okay, so let me let me let me make it make sense. So yesterday we fell asleep at 10 a.m. because we were up again all night since again since Thursday. I fell asleep at 10 a.m. and then I found myself waking up at 7 p.m. So when we woke up at 7 p.m., we woke up, we fed the cats twice, watched some TV, played some games, ate, and then my throat. After I took my ibuprofen, my throat started to hurt again. So I just said, let me just lay down and watch my show. But then I ended up falling asleep and Matt just started playing some Mario. I woke up and it's 5 a.m. I fell asleep for hours twice. Now, sorry, my eyebrows are probably all screwed up. Matt didn't go to sleep at all. So it was like 5 a.m. I woke up, the cats again, bless his soul. And I just didn't have to worry about anything. I got up, washed my face. He took a shower. I was, on, I was in the bed. He made me more tea. Like he was just a doll last night. I, I don't know how to explain. He was just so sweet to me and I had I got to turn off my brain. Hi, Papa. Oh, yeah, and the cats are probably so happy that we're just always home now. We're already always home, but we've been rotting on this couch and rotting in bed, so they're probably a little extra excited. Sorry, I, I don't know why I go from one topic to the next and then I completely forgot what I was originally talking about. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I woke up, he he handled everything and he took his shower, he brushed his teeth, and when we were in bed, I was just like, babe, I don't think I can go back to sleep. I think I gotta stay up for this morning. I slept a lot. He's like, well, since I didn't sleep, you got you can continue, you can do whatever you want. You can wake up, you can cuddle with me or not. And I did cuddle, trust me, I had to cuddle with that man. And do whatever you want. So I was like, you know what, let me film a YouTube. I already did two TikTok videos of me being sick. It's the new year, let me pick up this camera and film God knows what. And you just spent a morning with me sick at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. I forgot what time I started filming this, but you guys are spending the morning with me while I'm sick. And this is as realistic as this, as it can get because I literally just picked up the camera and went with it. Plus, this is the best I felt since Thursday. If you guys would have seen me when I had my fever, dude, I was, I was like a zombie. It felt like I had COVID. Like, I shit you not. I was like, dude, I have something. I don't think it's COVID because when I did have COVID, it was 10 times more painful. I can tell it was not COVID because it was just a fever. It wasn't a sore throat. It was just a little bit of the throat the first day. I remember sitting being like, yo, something's wrong with my throat. And I, and I immediately started gargling with salt water. And then the next morning I woke up being like, yo, I feel really sick right now. And I'm like, you know what? My allergy. And everybody always thinks that I'm always sick, guys. I'm not always sick. Sometimes it's just my allergies being a little drama queen, being a little extra. And sometimes I am just a little sick. But this time I swear it was a major sickness. All the other times I promise you guys it's either my allergies acting up or I'm just a little bit sick. For and every, all my friends are always like, for me being the healthiest person that they know, I'm always sick. I don't know what it is. Guys, I'm not the healthiest person. I know that I have to commit to some things to have my immune system fight off some viruses and bacteria or whatever. But when I went to urgent care, they told me I didn't have strep and I didn't have COVID. They tested me for both. And that it was just like something about a bacterial infection, not a virus, not something that's contagious. So yeah, that's basically what it is. They, they told me to take Tylenol and ibuprofen for my throat pain and to just continue home remedies. And and if it continues for 10 days or more, I have to go back and check up on it again. So that's that's what we're doing today. Now I'm just gonna chill on my couch, do whatever on the TV, or be, stay on my phone and rot and wait for Matt to wake up because I'm just waiting for him to wake up so I can just hang out with him. That's that's how my days go, guys. I'm an independent woman, but my best friend is my boyfriend. <laughs> my big group of girlfriends live an hour away. So it's not like I can just like hang out with them or meet up with them whenever. It has to like literally be planned for the drive. And Matt is literally my best friend. We hang out literally every single day, make each other laugh, do everything together. Like it's not, not fun without him. And he says it's never fun without me. So we're each other's best friends. So when that man's asleep, I don't know what to do with my life. I like to surprise him with some things. He does the same for me. I just kill time. Oh, hi. I kill time. Mainly I work like edit or plan <coughs> then I rot I just wait when I'm not being productive like when I'm not doing any work again he's my best friend I want to do everything with him go to the gym with him nothing is fun without him so I guess I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna wait don't judge me <laughs>
Update, I just took a fat ass nap and I'm having some leftover rice noodle soup with some chicken and corn. And we're playing Mario Kart. 10.49 p.m. currently. There's Matt bringing me my water. Thank you, baby. So that walk never happened because it was pouring rain all day. But I think I'm gonna get some type of movement in. We shall see you after I finish eating and after a round of Mario Kart. Mm -hmm.